Dear students, we are going to talk about APA 6 referencing style. It's part 1. Here we'll study citing in text and text citations or text citations. So first of all, see the outline. In outline, we will see what's APA. We'll study two parts of referencing in text citations, number of authors citing the scanned resources, and we'll study direct quotes. So APA stands for what? The term stands for American Psychological Association, APA. In-text reference is in the format. APA is the style where we have two important things, author followed by date. It's important morally and legally to acknowledge someone else's ideas or words you have used. Academic writing encouraging, encourages paraphrasing information you have researched and read. Paraphrasing means rewording something you have read into your own words. Referencing correctly enables the macro reader of your assignment to locate the source of the information. So if you people are not going to acknowledge the source, then it is plagiarism. It's sort of theft and it's not a research. It must be penalized. So in this referencing, we have two parts. In this video lecture, I'm going to talk about the first part. The first part indicating within your assignment, research, research paper, the sources of the information you have used to write your assignment. This demonstrates support for your ideas, arguments, and views. Sometimes this is referred to as citing in text, in text citations or text citation. You can use either of them. The second part is actually linked with the reference list that's given at the end of work. So referencing has these two important points in AP style. So in this video, we'll talk about the first part. In text citations, even though you have put someone else's idea or information in your own words, paraphrased, you still need to show where the original idea or information came from. When citing in text with an assignment, use author or editor's last name followed by the year of publication. So here is an example given there. Water is a necessary part of every person's diet and of all the nutrients a body needs to function. It requires more water each day than any other nutrient. So here you can see Whitney and Rofield's comma 2011. So actually this idea has been taken from these two persons or researchers or authors point of uh, work and it has been rephrased and they have been acknowledged here. This is what we call in-text citations. So in cite citation, certain other examples, the same can be given in three ways. You can say it can be at the start, the author's name can be given at the start and sometimes the author's name can appear in between the line so it's, it's up to the uh, researcher where these things appear you have to acknowledge the main thing is acknowledgement you have to acknowledge them so dear students sometimes we have three four or up to seven authors how to cite them if a work has three four or five authors cite all authors the first time and from then on, include only the last name of the first author followed by the words at all. So at all is basically a Latin word. It means and others. At all, here is a point that you have to keep in mind. After ET, there is nothing. And after AL, there is single L and then full stop is there. Research can be defined as a systematic method of creating new knowledge or a way to verify existing knowledge. So you can see three authors are given, Watson, last names are there, McKenna, Cowman and Carey. And similarly, the same uh, idea can be given with Watson at all. Just you can take first name and the others at all means all others included there. So <clears throat> if a work has six or more authors, cite only the last name of the first author followed by at all. But when a source has up to seven authors, include all names in the reference list and at, at the end we have to include all them. So if there are eight or more authors, when there are eight or more authors, cite only the last name of the first author followed by at all. So you can see example over here, we sing at all. So keep in mind, note in the reference list, 
when there are eight or more authors include the first six authors names and then use use ellipsis points like this so here the dot shows that other authors are also included there so this is if we have authors eight or more than eight and sometimes we can say that groups can also work as authors some companies can be their associations can be their government agencies are there how to give them just come towards the example given at the end ministry of health m o h so it's abbreviation of m o h if small bracket starts and then a bigger bracket is there and abbreviation is given there one m o h 2007 but if the same reference reappears uh, it comes subsequently then instead of writing ministry of health just write there m o h comma in 2007 so sometimes we have similar information and referred by more than two or two authors or more than one author so how can we give them so there may be a occasion to refer to more than one source in relation to similar information in this case <coughs> list the source in alphabetical order within the bracket separated by a semicolon so here see the example the quote is there dawson and overton is there so here in the bracket you can see dawson's come first overton later because alphabetically d comes first and o later and they have been separated by a semi colon same author and same date sometime it happens that author is the same date is the same then according to ap6 style we can give them with years small a or a lower case a and lower case b so in this you can see examples cancer society of new zealand 2013 a and similarly the same according to the cancer society if the reference comes again for the second time then it will become b so this is also possible and you can you are supposed to follow these things strictly and your research work in literature review especially or in other places too and another important general for rule is parenthetical that uh, the brackets are very important one rule very straight forward the ap manual states that the year should be included in all citation that are in brackets so do include the year in all parenthetical citations for instance even apa comma 2010 year is there page number and after page number sometimes students use capitally that's totally wrong you are supposed to use small p and full stop and then 174 and then close the bracket that's an important point so similarly if we have a longer quotes so we can give for example kessler at all can be at the start and kessler at all can be given at the end of a longer quote too so both the ways are possible we can use citing a secondary source <clears throat> sometime instead of citing the primary we cite the source that is secondary so we have to see that what is secondary source we are possible use original material however if the information you wish to use is cited by another author acknowledge the source you have read showing it is a secondary source you must mention it that this work has been cited in so this is an important phrase that we people use in research this demonstrates you have not read the original source but read uh, about it in a secondary source within the text citation use the word as cited in so you can see fawcett as cited in polite and back 2008 uh, bracket closes outline and then we have the four main concepts whatsoever the information you are supposed to give ahead you can give later direct quotes another important thing that we people give inside the text we have two types of quotes uh, direct quotes are actually required but my advice is there that do not use lot of direct quotes even hac says that if you are supposed to use direct quote one source one paper should not be cited more than 5% so sometimes students at mphil level or at a phd level at certain levels bs levels they are in habit of collecting hodgepodge and then giving lot of or longer direct quotes that is rubbish and that that is not thing desired activity however you can give direct quotes quoting directly when it is necessary when it's very important then you can use direct quotes quoting directly from a work should be done sparingly 
off and on uh, in order to emphasize or stress a point in your essay when using a quote it must be copied exactly as written in the original work including any punctuation or incorrect spelling even spelling were incorrect or punctuation was there either it was right wrong you have to put it there because it's not your thing it is someone else so when using a quote include the author's last name year publication and page number or numbers where the quote appears refer to the apa manual so we will talk about two types of direct quotes short quotes and longer quotes <laughs> shorter quotes are less than 40 words to indicate a short quote encloses a quotation within the double quotation marks so here very important thing is when you are going to give shorter quote it should be uh, inside it it can be given within the running text there is no need to separate it if it is less than 40 words in paragraph and running paragraph it can be adjusted there and it should be with an inverted commas so you can see here that self directed it starts from self directed and it's ending at study and commas are closed and then you can see there halley then comma 2009 page number and after bracket closes then full stop is there mostly students make mistake that they put full stop after study that's wrong you have to put full stop after small brackets closes that's an important point but in shorter quote not in longer quote it has different rule longer quotes uh, it can be 40 words or more it should be given separately a uh, far a quote that's 40 words or more include it in your essay as a uh, free standing piece of text or a block form or do not use a quotation marks and in apa 6th and 7th double space the entire quote that's also possible you can double space it at the end of the quote include the author's name year of publication and page numbers after the full stop but <clears throat> here you are suppose you know that full stop comes first and then you have to give halley 2009 and page 60 is there so thank you for watching